Growing up, I used to never really go to church. Um, parents never really brought me to church like that. Never really was brought up into that type of atmosphere. You know, at the age of two and four, I remember my parents splitting up and that really affected me as a child. Um, later on, my mom had a boyfriend and they used to fight a lot. He used to call her all types of names and sometimes they would get in some fist fights. And I, I grew up with a lot of pain and hatred in my heart towards that guy. And so growing up with all this hurt inside, I used to take it to school. Um, there's a rich area around there and they used to come to me and ask for some drugs. And at that time, I used to never sell drugs, you know? Um, so I uh, started thinking, you know, like my mom being a single parent now, you know, me gotta make some money, you know, gotta do this. Uh, so I said, you know what? Let me get into it. And so I was in grade 10 and I started this and, you know, it slowly picked up. I started off small and it slowly picked up and picked up. The money was good. You know, you get the repetition at school, you know, you feel hype, you feel good, you know, but at the same time, there was like, there was no peace. So at the age of 16, I was really stressed out. And so I remember one time I, I, I prayed out to God and I was looking up in the sky, looking for a shooting star. I prayed just if you could just show me a shooting star so I could make a just a wish. And at that moment, shooting star came. And I realized that as soon as I asked to see that shooting star, it came and I was shocked. But I was thinking in the back of my mind, is this just a coincidence? So I said the next prayer. And as soon as I said the next prayer, I said, Lord, can I see a next shooting star? As soon as I said that next prayer, the next shooting star came. And I started crying because I realized there was a God above there and that God is listening to a man like me, a little boy, a little youth that's lost. He's hearing my prayers. And I was so spiritually high, but at the same time, I had no one to support me in these things, the things of God, trying to develop a relationship with God because my mom doesn't have a relationship with God. My pops don't have a relationship with God. They don't go to church like that. I go to my friends on the block. They don't have a relationship. So I end up slipping, I end up falling away. And I went back into my hustling ways. And I started hustling and getting deeper into it. 16, 17, 18, you know. At the same time, sometimes we would stick up other drug dealers. We'd go around and do some foolishness, you know. Some things that, you know, some things that I wish I can take back. But at the age of 18, I got arrested. I decided at that point, you know, I'm a smart man. If I can sell drugs and do it successfully, I can have a business and do it successfully. So I decided at that point, I need to change. I said, Lord, I'm confused. I'm lost and confused. I don't know who you are really, but God, I know you're up there and I know you're listening to me. Lord, I'm lost and I'm confused. And I said a small prayer. I said, Lord, after this last dash, I'm done and I'm not selling drugs no more. I'm done with it. But God, I need you to help me. Show me the way. I'm lost and I'm confused. God, show me the way. Small little prayer like that. The next day, I decided to go to school and get my grade 12 math credit and try to get back into school. So I took my transcript while I was going to the school. Next thing you know, something told me inside, get that last dash. So I grabbed that last dash. While I went to the school to sign up to get this grade 12 math credit, uh, I saw about 12 to about 10 police cruisers looking for a Spanish youth that had robbed a store. They said I matched the description. They asked me what I was doing on school property. I showed them that I was trying to get into school. I gave them my transcript. They said, nope, you're trespassing. Boom, you're arrested. So while I was in jail, I remember arguing and cussing the police. I'm like, you know, you saw me trying to do something good in my life and yet you're still holding me back. At the same time, I didn't know at the time we, we don't wrestle against men our, 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 our blood. We don't wrestle against the blood of the flesh. We wrestle against principalities and darkness. We wrestle against spirits. We wrestle against basically the devil. And the devil was holding back. Every time I was trying to do something good, it just sucked me back and I was in jail and I was confused and I was angry. So anyways, this lady, she invited me to come to church, All Nations, Full Gospel Church. And as soon as I came to All Nations, Full Gospel Church, there was a presence inside of there that I never felt. I felt the Holy Spirit. I felt the Spirit of God overcoming. No one had to preach to me. No one had to talk to me. I knew that this was the place where God wanted me to be. I know this is the place that where God was going to help me to grow in my life. So as soon as I sat down in church, the message was exactly towards me, whatnot. 
and so I started coming to All Nations Full Gospel, and since then, you know, things that he's been showing me has been coming to pass. You know, I look at my life now, and from then, you know, now I have a business. You know, I went to college and I graduated. You know, I, I, probably one of the only o, o, only friends that I grew up that went to college and, and graduated. Some of them never even finished high school. I'm fulfilled. I'm satisfied because there's something in me that 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 completes me, and that thing that's in me now is God, is Jesus.